What's up, old school homies? I found a old school guitar today. I wasn't totally looking. Yeah, I was. I was looking to buy a guitar. I love buying guitars. It's an addiction. So I was looking through the listings, and I was trying to find my $20 guitar, as always, and I just wasn't impressed with some of the $20 guitars that I found. So this one came along. Should I tell you how much I paid for it? 60 bucks. It was listed for 65. I was going to pay it. If someone let, lists something really low, don't uh, nickel and dime them like I did on accident. <laughs> Give them the full money. I had another guitar that was uh, $65 and I tried to bring it down to 60 and the other guy, he said, Give me my five bucks. <laughs> Anyways, we got this shit. Well, what this is, is not shit at all. I've been wanting one of these for so long. It's a made in Korea, 90s uh, Fender Stratocaster Squire Bullet. <laughs> now, I didn't know I wanted a Squire Bullet. I didn't know they actually made one. It, a made in Korea Squire Bullet. I, I've heard about the made in Japan ones. I've had two of them. I had never heard of one of these. And uh, when I saw the listing, I tried to do some research and figure out what is this little beast of a guitar. And it ends up being a 90s made in Korea guitar. The, the black label one will be 90s, and I think the silver label one is 80s. So, is it a vintage guitar? Yeah, it actually is because of a few different things. It's unique. And the reason why is no one knows actually where this particular one was made. Now I'll show you part of the serial number, but I'm not going to show you all of it. It's a NK series. So NK tried to look it up. <laughs> I was looking up serial numbers like nobody seems to know. You know, and then I did find a, a blog where somebody talked about it. And they said, yeah, this is a 90s made in Korea. The wood looks really nice. I'm looking at uh, the wood grain is really straight. It's a high quality neck with a good skunk stripe on the back. Now these tuning pegs, these trapezoidal things, every time you see these, I suck, right? Like this part. I mean, this part looks really cool. So then you kind of can't take them off either. I don't know if I could take them off. It's really... I hope they hold, you know? Somebody actually changed the string trees to rollers. Wow, that was, that was nice of them. It's actually professionally set up and not played very much. I don't see any divots. Always when you're looking at a guitar, look to see if the frets have divots in them. If they have big divots and stuff, it's hard to get a fret level going on. Watch my videos, but yeah, I could fret level any guitar, but you might have really small frets at the end of the day if there's huge divots. This particular guitar has nice frets on her. <laughs> Somebody has like finger marks down here, like they're just shredding, like even below. Oh boy, the single uh, ply pickguard is really cool. See how thick it is? Most single ply pickguards, it's considered a um, vintage thing, a single ply pickguard, because early Fender Strats had those, but then uh, they made three ply pickguards so you don't get waves in them. But this is thick enough where I don't see no waves. Nothing is not touching the body. This is really cool. Like. For a 20, 30 year old guitar, this thing is bad. Really good condition. I would say this is the, probably the only scratch. Freaking eh. Yeah. Some of the knobs are starting to get vintage colored. That's desirable. The vintage colors are actually naturally happening. I love it. The wood is starting to get a little bit more orange, but not. It was butt white when it came out of the factory, I'll tell you that. 
what's a, what's really amazing is he has the original um saddles <laughs> he was trying to tell me he has the real original square saddles and those are cool those it looks like you could do a neck shim because the saddles are almost bottomed out like look at how the screws are all sticking way out you can shim the neck so that you can get the adjustment more in the middle I might do that, but I, look at how low the action is. You could stick a credit card under there and barely get a swipe. If you find guitars with low, low action like that, don't sell them. It's a terrible mistake. The Squire Bullet over there is not sellable. All of my other guitars have been sellable before, but... There's one that I gave to my little brother that's not too bad either. It has extremely low action, but um, for $60, I, I would not let go of this guitar for less than $300. It's a little bit of a high mark. I would say $250, but no. You, you would never sell a guitar this nice. If you could see the craftsmanship in it, um, the neck profile is so nice and thick. Nah, you... You don't get stuff like that very cheap. So I, I'm very appreciative. I shake the guy's hand and I told him, thank you very much for this guitar, you know. And he knew I, I was a Squire collector. <laughs>